Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Well, it is time to get the party started for my year-long make-along. Let's rock 2022 with some music. So we got up on the 1st of January and the boys gave me the album they have selected for the 1st of January for us to review and use in our projects for our year-long make-along. I'm smiling because I never thought they would pick this all year. I thought they would avoid it. But they did say to me, being the 1st of January, we thought we'd make it easy on you. You wouldn't have to do much research because you have a head full of information about this artist. Yes, the only one I have of her on vinyl. I have heaps of CDs, but the only one I have of her on vinyl. Pink. Funhouse album. Yes, this is our album for the 1st of January to review and to inspire us for our make-along. So, I do have a head full of information about her, but I made some notes so I wouldn't waffle on for hours because she is one of my favourite artists, if not the most favourite. I find it hard to go past her. I really enjoy her music. In 2013, I went down to Brisbane to see her in the Truth About Love concert. It was awesome. Absolutely awesome. It's not just a concert, it's a full-on show. So if you ever have the opportunity to see her in concert live, I highly recommend you do so. You will not be disappointed. So let's review Pink. First of all, the artist. Pink was born Alicia Beth Moore on the 8th of September in 1979 in Dolstown, Pennsylvania. Hi Barbara Lightheart, I hope you enjoyed Christmas in Pennsylvania. She gets her name Pink from the, the movie Reservoir Dogs. Now there's a character called Mr Pink and some of her friends said she resembled Mr Pink. So she called herself Pink. She's married to Kerry Hart and they have two children, Willow and Jamison. Ten facts you might not know about Pink, you may know. She was a troubled teen and she took an overdose when she was young on drugs, with drugs. She worked at McDonald's. A lot of people have do uh, jobs at McDonald's when they're young. I never did. She has nearly two dozen tattoos and she's proud of being a tomboy. She's not into gardening. I am. <laughs> she's been in multiple movies, but she's usually accredited with the name of Alicia Moore in the movies. I know she was one of the voices in Happy Feet, one of the kids' movies. She did gymnastics when she was young, and she includes aerobatics in her performances and concerts. I can sincerely vouch for this. Brisbane, she was swinging around above the audience, getting up close and personal with all the audience. And yes, it was just breathtaking. She puts some money where her mouth is. She helps a lot of charities out. One notable thing is she kicked off when we had the bushfires in 2019, at the end of 2019, and it was really bad. She kicked off with a massive donation to the Bushfire Relief along with other artists. But I think she was the first one to do it. She's helped um, save the Children's Fund. I know there was an Olympic team last year that copped a fine for wearing shorts and she offered to pay the fine. They weren't supposed to wear shorts. Um, yeah, she definitely puts her money where her mouth is. Her favourite song is Get the Party Started. Hence, we're getting our party started. And her favourite singer is Michael Jackson. So what can I say? Her first studio album is Can't Take Me Home. It sold 4 million records or 4 million units and yielded, and yielded three singles. So our album is Fun House. Fun House was released in 2008. It was a studio album. Now, this has beaten a lot of records. It debuted at number two on Billboard's 200. In the first week, it sold 180,000 copies. 
And overall to date, it has sold 7 million copies. It is a very popular album and they were sold worldwide. What else can I put you? It's sold in countries like Australia, New Zealand, United Kingdom, the Netherlands. She is very popular worldwide. Most of the album's subject matter alludes to her split from her husband in 2008. But don't despair, they did find their way back to each other in 2010. I've been back together ever since. Now, songs on the album, So What, Sober, Fun House, um, what else is there? My favourite, Glitter in the Air, and I Don't Believe You. This is our album we're looking at. What else can I say? So, Glitter in the Air is my favourite track. What do you do to inspire your project? Well, the album cover has white, red, pink, mustardy colour. You can use those colours to inspire. You can use horses to inspire you. She's wearing a tutu. You could use ballet or tutu to inspire you. You could use the song Glitter in the Air to inspire you. Use some glittery yarn. But this is our yarn, our album to inspire a yarn project. Yes, I'm excited it's pink. I can't help it. I get all jittery. I really like listening to her and dancing to her. So guys, to help you if you've never listened to Pink or don't know who she is, I'm going to link some videos, YouTube videos in the description below. One is um, 2010 Grammys performance where she received a standing ovation from everyone. It is breathtaking taking and she's seeing glitter in the air the other is in 2021 she became billboards icon of the year the only the 10th artist to ever do so she performs there with her daughter and some other performances and you should enjoy it and get to know pink then and now i hope you've liked this review i hope you're joining the make along it should be a lot of fun and I am so happy it's pink. I'm even wearing my pink shirt I bought at the concert. I don't wear it often because it's a little high in the neck for me and annoys me. So guys, remember, music does not have an expiration date. So enjoy music because it unites us. It brings us peace and love. Until January the 15th for our next album cover. Peace, everyone. Let's rock 2022 AU. Bye for now.